Welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're taking a special look at the Matrix Series 1 from Spawn uh, Collectibles. This is the McFarlane stuff, Todd McFarlane stuff. This was 2003 release, and if you've spent any time on Instagram looking at action figure photos, or if you've looked at the... Um, uh, what I'm trying to say. If you're in uh, Articulated Comic Book Arts group or on their fan page, I'm sure you have seen this diorama piece used multiple times. Uh, my good friend uh, Bilal Kesselbash got this for me, and it's super sick looking. I'm very stoked uh, to get it. I've been seeing it in a lot of people's photography, and it's just so versatile. So. Uh, we'll get a look at it and how you can incorporate it into other diorama settings, uh, ways that you can uh, do simple things to use it, or how you can make it a bit more elaborate if you'd like. Uh, just fantastic. Can't wait to get into this. And uh, yeah, so just a quick look at the box. Uh, this thing is awesome looking. Uh, it's huge. I don't know if you can tell from the picture. Like, here's a Marvel Legends figure. So... That gives you an idea of the scale. It's uh, probably right at 12 inches tall and 12 inches wide, the packaging. So it's about 12 inches square. And uh, looking at the side, we've got awesome uh, picture of Neo there. This is, again, Series 1 Deluxe Edition features Neo and the base and a fight scene from the Chateau in uh, Matrix Reloaded. So this is from the second film. Uh, and here's a close-up shot of the diorama all put together and you can see it comes with a floor you've got some flight stands and uh it's a scene where he's kicking him into the statue there and it actually busts all to pieces and comes apart we've got other figures that were or i'm sorry yeah figures and diorama bases that were featured in the series and uh but this is this is the bad boy it's huge so on the other side kind of get another little picture here and he's all in full focus and full color and then the background is kind of grayed out to enhance the image of the uh, figure there i don't think these figures are very posable if at all it's meant to just kind of be a display piece but again i'll be using it for action figure photography so without further ado let's get this monster open and see what's inside all right so that took about 30 minutes to get everything out of the package at least know that if you buy this thing new it is very well protected. There's about 8,000 of these little twisty guys all over the place. Several layers of plastic clamshell packaging around the figures and around all these delicate pieces to protect it. So don't have any worries about it getting damaged in shipping. I don't think it would actually be even possible. So real quick, I guess we'll take a look at the figures. Again, I didn't buy this for the figures. Well, I didn't even buy it at all. My buddy bought it for me, but I didn't need it for the figures, but the figures are pretty cool. Uh, very limited articulation. Uh, the leg just kind of can rotate around and that's it. And then this arm can go up and down. So that's pretty much all the articulation for the figure uh, for Neo there. Uh, this is a display piece. You're supposed to take this uh, mast here, punch it into the wall and then uh, stick it into the back here of him. So, but you can have him floating up there. And it's a little stiff right now, so I'm just gonna hold it in place. Sorry, I didn't realize that was out of focus. All right, so there's a look. He's gonna sit there, and then this guy right here kind of you can have him laying across there this breaks apart uh, the head comes off the torso comes off and it can be shattered and knocked over so there's different ways that you can display him and uh, he's got a little peg here and there's a peg here and then you've got these little plastic pieces that you can um, mount him onto there so that's cool but that's not why I got this bad boy I got this bad boy to enhance uh, kind of my Wayne Manor or Kingpin 
or Tony Stark uh, mansion sets for my action figure photography. And uh, this is just such a versatile piece. You can see that it can be used for just about anything. Even uh, Professor X's mansion, you can have Logan chilling out in the mansion, walking down the stairs, jumping off the stairs to uh, protect the uh, younger kids whenever they break into Xavier's mansion, like in X-Men 2, especially now that we have the Wolverine uh, figure from the anniversary set that they're coming out with now, the movie figures from Marvel Legends. So that's pretty cool. You have all these weapons here that look awesome. So they're little like swords and stuff and they will um, mount on the wall actually and I'll get those all mounted in a little bit. I just want to give you a chance to kind of see them up close. Detail on them is very nice. A really vibrant silver paint and then they have some uh, brass paint as well and some weathering and stuff to really make them look nice. And uh, I'm going to pull the diorama in a little closer as well so that we can kind of get a closer look at it because this thing is just really, really nice actually. And I'm going to Sorry, I'm trying to adjust my lighting and everything real quick. Should have done that off camera, I apologize. So let's bring this in a little closer. You can see the detail on this guy is insane. Really nice sculpt work and it has a wash to kind of give it that aged, tarnished look. Um, this is probably meant to be like a marble statue. We've got this beautiful staircase. Looks really nice. He's holding the lamp here. Uh, real nice bright gold paint here and it that looks like a marble floor. It's all shiny and glossy and you can see like the tile work and all those finer details and you can uh, build this out and actually uh, you know have a whole floor area and I'll, we'll get a look at some of that here in just a minute of kind of ways you can enhance it. You can see this nice staircase here. Looks really cool. There's lots of ways to light this and lots of ways to configure this to get some action figure shots. If you have a black poster board, you can kind of get a never ending black background if you just take and slide that in there. It can be like a dark hallway in the back of your shot so you don't have to worry about like you know how it looks and just take your picture frame it out slightly off camera and it just looks like you're turning the corner and going down a dark hallway or you can put a pattern back there and uh, make it look like it's a hallway so you can take a big panel that's colored and do the same thing with that something with golds and whites in it that will kind of enhance the the look that's already there and really dress this thing up and make it look nice so obviously that's what i'm gonna do i've made some uh panels and you've probably seen them in some of my other shots but it was still just kind of empty and i felt like it needed needed a little something extra and so uh, a buddy of mine knew i wanted this thing and uh, I just couldn't really get it right now. And he hooked me up. So thanks again, my friend. Can't thank you enough. So uh, we're gonna put that in the corner. And I'm, what I did was just make this little uh, panel right here with an opening and closing door. And uh, with some stuff I found at Hobby Lobby. But you can take and do a whole lot with it. I could actually make another one and kind of relocate this door and move it down because the way I'm actually going to use it, well, I don't know. I could probably turn it that way. You could even do it like, you can even put it in the center, honestly, and you could have it, um, you know, just kind of move your camera around and just, you know, crop it off there 
And of course, you'll want to find some kind of floor that matches the color that you already have here. Or you could paint this and have it match, you know, something like paint it a neutral. You could either do a black gloss and then just have a black gloss floor. Or you can go with like a white marbled floor and just let this be an extension of here down into like some kind of a white floor. So there's lots of options you can do so that you can just, you know, exchange it in and out. You probably don't want to paint this unless, you know, you just want to do it flat black and kind of match the staircase. But anyway, there's tons of options. And uh, we can get a look at this thing all put together. I'm going to go ahead and mount the weapons off camera so you don't have to sit through that. And then we'll take another look at it all put together. But before I do, let's just get a look at this real quick. Man, isn't this awesome? You've got this beautiful shield and spear set that looks fantastic that mounts at the top. And I just kind of wanted you to get a chance to look at it real quick. I mean, that is just fantastic, the detail on that. It's got an antique wash that really makes it stand out. It's got little pegs on the back they'll mount behind the head of the dude back there. But yeah, that looks really cool. All right, so uh, we have this all put together now. What you have to do is pop the bust off, mount that, and then reseat the bust. So, but uh, it looks really cool. And we'll, if you slide it back into place, voila. So that looks really sick. And the colors of this uh, little panel set I've put together really looks nice, really enhances it. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. You, oh, I'm trying to break it, hold on. Okay, so you can uh, also find like a piano stick in the corner. Um, you can find little bookshelves with little miniature books and stuff. You can sit and just, you know, really do it up nice and make it something special uh, to add a lot of detail. Here's a little globe. Set that over there. You can get a little coat rack for like a couple bucks at Hobby Lobby or Michaels. Stick it over there, stick it in the corner. Uh, you know, there's just all kinds of stuff you can do to enhance your shots. They even make a fireplace mantle that's really simple, but I went ahead and painted mine white. And they make these little candelabras. Uh, this is a little bird cage that came with the NECA Tonto figure. And, uh, you know, you can do all kind of neat stuff. And just add some depth. Uh, the more detail the better so for something like this but you can see how all these little things can come together and make a real nice cohesive uh, diorama set and you know you could even uh, you know pull this forward and have that have there be like a hallway behind it even and you know, like you come down and round the corner, you can have figures coming around the corner to create, you know, depth and everything in there. So there's just so many different things that you can do. It's so versatile and uh, I just think it looks really cool. Another thing you can do is uh, find you some barrels or, you know, something. You can paint this a different color if you want to. Uh, and they make these little like floral things at and then you can get them at Walmart for like a dollar. And it comes with a stem that you like poke down in foam for like fake flower setups or whatever. You can snip the bottom of that and just kind of stick it on there and have like a potted plant in the house or whatever to kind of accent and stuff. So all that's for free, enjoy. All of these little weapons just fit in here real easily. They're just kind of cradled on there. They're not hard to put on at all. So you just kind of drop them. Aye. Don't drop them. But you just kind of drop them in there.
like that and you know you can toy with them and get them set exactly how you want but there's nothing to it let's take a look at some other uh, characters that we can get displayed with this thing and kind of see how that looks so you can get Logan walking upstairs of the Xavier mansion you can take a black panel and kind of line it up like that and kind of get your infinite black there in the hallway kind of matches the steps and then have the rest of the room you know match your golds and your whites and uh, that looks really cool you can shoot this at different angles as well to hide different things if you don't have something you can put there you can just shoot the shot from a different angle where you don't see this over here and uh, still make it look nice one of the obvious favorites is going to be Wayne Manor so Vicki Vale's there hanging out Commissioner Gordon has come by to check on some things Alfred's entertaining the guests until Master Bruce can change out of his Batman costume and make his way down the stairs so Ah oh, yes, sorry to keep you waiting, everyone. Except he wouldn't have a British accent, Alfred would. <clears throat> sorry to keep you waiting, Commissioner. Is that better? Sounds good. Another favorite is going to be Kingpin and Daredevil. So, you can see he fits right in with that motif. And I think a lot of people will probably like the new one as well. To get some contrast, you're gonna have his uh, purple and orange colors, you know, really standing out more so than this. Blends in to a degree, but I still think it has enough separation that uh, it still looks good. And you can do a lot with lighting to enhance the characters, of course, within the shot. So I guess it ended up being more of a how-to <laughs> photograph your figures with a diorama tutorial and how to build a diorama tutorial than an actual action figure or display review but anyway hopefully that helps some of y'all out gives you some ideas with something you can do with some of your pictures uh yeah this thing is massive and i'm so glad to have it uh it's very very cool and i'm already enjoying it so be sure and check out my new instagram where figures dwell all one word w-h-e-r-e-f-i-g-u-r-e-s-d-w-e-l-l -E -E -L -L, where figures dwell i'm going to be posting just my best action figure shots there so i'll keep figure depot for my reviews and um toy news and stuff like that just random shelf shots and collection shots and toy hauls and things like that and then uh my where figures dwell page will be more photography focused so be sure and check that out. Thank you so much. Uh, hope to see you guys again soon. And take care.